morning. Welcome to my channel, Dougie Shaven. The sun is coming up here in Austin, Texas, and it's time for my morning shave. In my stone crop pottery mug, I have whole bean fresh ground invader coffee out of Hudson Bend, Texas, right around Lake Travis this morning. Getting my morning started. And in my Hendrix Classics and Company bowl with my Trotter Handcrafts brush, I have whipped up for you this morning the one, the only Le Pire Lucien Savon du Barbier. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful barber shop sent out of France. Let's get rocking and rolling. Just got out of a hot shower. And I say the sun's coming up. I can't see it. <laughs> we got over an inch of rain last night and the golf course is wet. So who knows? I'm gonna be starting off with a little bit of nice Pro Rasso pre-shave after my nice hot shower. I love this stuff. It's a great pre-shave. Pre-shave not only softens the beard, but then again, also it provides extra nutrients to your face as you're getting ready to scrape it with a piece of steel. And man, this is just good stuff. I love Pro Rasso, good Italian company. Really good stuff. And today's blade of choice, I am pulling out my mother of pearl Dovo. This is a number 98 and this is a 5 8 inch. And man, I mean, this stuff just blew up in my bowl and I didn't, I didn't even use all of it. I mean, I think this Trotter Handcrafts brush really whips up a fabulous lather. And I love the way it splays and it feels on my face as I exfoliate my skin before my shave. But man, this stuff, <laughs> this stuff blew up. Love it. Yeah, we got a lot of rain. We're under a flood warning. A lot of roads are closed here in Austin. A lot of low lying roads. Um, so we just got a lot of rain overnight and we're supposed to get more today, more tomorrow. It's just supposed to keep coming. Really great scent. Uh, Le, Le Pire uh, Lucien, that stands for the father in French. And you can check them out at lepirelucien.com. Really, really great, great soap out of France, all natural, really, really good stuff. Absolutely love it. Cutting in my sideburns. And uh, this guy, I bought this off the pirate. And uh, I got about probably three years ago or so, and it's just been a great shaver ever since. I just took it, um, I just did a refresher on it, uh, on my 12,000 Naniwa Superstone, uh, 16,000, uh, and then took it up to my 30,000. And I only do a couple of strokes on that, but man, it's got a great, great mirror finish on that, on the rip blade. And cutting like a champ. Yeah, I was driving over there in Hudson Bay And uh, I saw this Invader Coffee, and I'm like, oh, a new coffee place I haven't seen. And I'm like, I got to go check them out. 
So I drove up in there and come to find out they're a nice veteran owned company. Uh, you can check them out at invadercoffee.com. They sell coffee on their website as well as like uh, 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 camo clothing and stuff for hunting. But really, really, uh, really nice, uh, nice clothing up in there on, on the kind of on the expensive side for hunting. But I mean, you definitely don't want to don't want to be seen out there for sure when you're trying to bag that deer or something. Being from Texas, you know, I've eaten my ducks, I've eaten my deer. Man, this is just really just blowing through these whiskers. Put a great edge on this thing last night. Playing around with my stones. I love me some good deer meat. Like some nice venison sausage. Ah, good stuff. Breakfast venison sausage, you can't beat it. Really, really close shave. Yeah, so... Doesn't look like I'll be hitting the golf course today. <laughs> With all that rain out there, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty brutal. Wow, I could just stop like this. But I'm not gonna, we're gonna do three passes as I like to do. This week I'm gonna be uh, on an Instagram live on Shave Tech with Rob from Chisel and Hound. He's going to do a live turn for us. With a brush that he's donating to the cause. And I'm really lucky to have all these great artisans showing me their methods in how they're turning their brushes and stuff. And they just make it look so easy, these guys that have been doing it for so long. <laughs> it's really not it's really not that easy um but they sure do make it look that way it's supposed to rain all weekend i was gonna get out and have a putting lesson so i've got my little indoor putting stuff here at the house i guess that's what i'm gonna have to have to deal with uh past two we're going across the grain now Oh yeah, I mean, it's just plowing through it. I'm hearing some thunder off in the distance. It was, it was quite, there were some boomers last night, man, woke me up once. I blow a little air up in my, uh, my upper lip there to keep it flat so I can get the blade across the lip. And that keeps it nice and nice and flat. You don't want puffy cheeks, you know, mushy cheeks when you're dragging a razor blade across it. No bueno. When you get up in there, you gotta watch your nose. Always know where that heel is, always know where that toe is, because you can whack something. I, I, I cut a chunk in my ear when I first started. Not paying attention where my, uh, 
where my, my toe was and I was working on my, my heel and whacked it good. You can really hear the feedback from this Dovo here. Go to more of kind of a commissory style. Get that up against the grain. Yeah, it's going to be a rained out weekend. We got Mother's Day tomorrow. It's my brother's birthday also. He, he's and uh, my my birthday's next weekend, so we always celebrate together. You know, we always do it together. And he always says that he gets gypped because <laughs> his birthday's on Mother's Day, but. Nice. <clears throat> Super, super close shave. Wow. And the post feel of Le Pire Lucien. Um, this is their barber shop. This is their take on barber shop. And you know, I love my barber shop. And this is a really nice, very fresh kind of barber shop. I'm digging it. And I just got soap for Dave here, painting this stuff on. I mean, just <laughs> this Hendrix Classics and Company bowl. Pete just got some more of these, so check them out. They've got these little speed bumps in the bottom of it, and it just whips up such a great, such a great lather. You got to love it. On Shave Tech, we've been setting all sorts of records. Every week, we get more and more viewers. That's been really nice. Really uh, thankful for the support of the community and for our sponsors as well. You know, we've had a lot of people reach out to us that sponsored the show. All right, Fool's Pass. I'm singing Cinderella in my head. Nobody's fool. <laughs> Don't want to be singing when I got a straight razor on my throat, right? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? Come up and around that, that chin. That gets that, uh, gets all those hairs there. And... This being a nice half hollow, it really provides great feedback. You can really hear the whiskers being taken off your face. That's where you gotta be really careful. And here I like to use the heel of my blade And that just gets that gets that right off of there for you. Nobody's fool. I saw Cinderella open up for David Lee Roth when he went out on a solo tour. I saw the very first show of the Eat em and Smile uh, tour in in Hampton, Virginia. And Cinderella opened up the show. <laughs> they were great, just flinging their guitars and basses all around. And I saw them again in uh, 2006, I think it was. And, and uh, it was the... Rat Poison Tour. It was Rat and Poison and Cinderella and, and, uh, 
God, who else? There was another band that was with them, but I mean, we were like sixth row. We were right up there in front of Warren D. Martini, and uh, just a great, great show. Love me my hair bands. <laughs> you know, everything comes back around. So someday <laughs> I can put my spandex back on. Now I'm too old. <laughs> Man, I mean, uber close shave. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to touch up a couple of my other razors because this thing is just... Going right through everything. Great three passes. There's nothing left. I like it. Nice warm water rinse. Times two. Break out my cheapy Walmart towel. Get any residual soap product that is left on. Ah, oh, this barber shop is such a great, clean, clean barber shop. I've got some nice stayers unscented here. Super clean barber shop. Love it. A little witch hazel. Facial toner. Also helps kill bacteria without drying out your face. Look at that, nice tone, total sheen. There's nothing left on my face. And I'm gonna be using a little post-shave serum by Ariana and Evans. And folks, all you need is two squirts, that's it. Don't waste this magic goo, this is awesome stuff. Really rehydrates the skin, puts all those nice, wonderful nutrients back into your skin. You've probably removed a little bit of dead skin on your face. You know, you want to have it nice and hydrated again. And then, of course, we've got the matching splash here. Ah. Uh, Really great, fresh barber shop out of France. Oh, smelling good. Getting some feedback around here where I got a little close in there, but that's where you learn. Folks, thank you so much for joining me on my channel, and I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day, and I will see you again real soon on Dougie's Shaving and Shave Tech.